Shepard. How can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier, time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. What was the special tasks group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. Maybe they were just having a lucky year. Or fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan were left to repopulate. Please, Shepard. Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. Population spike caused by adaptation to genophage. No other possibility. The Krogan are dangerous enough already. With an unchecked birth rate, they could endanger the whole galaxy. Exactly. Salarian government agreed. Authorized STG to take steps. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of genophage. Released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. If the Krogan are so dangerous, why not just sterilize them outright? Not a war criminal. Not a murderer. Genocide. Unnecessary. Krogan as a whole, violent, aggressive, still have outliers worth saving. Genophage modification protected galaxy allowed Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins. Good for us, good for them. I doubt you've told many people about this, Morden. I appreciate you letting me know. Wanted you to know I'm willing to do what's necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to comply. Good for free time. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I saw the reports on Horizon, Commander. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that Caden Alenko was there. How did that go? There's not much to say. The past is the past. I understand. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Operative Lawson would like to see you at her station on the crew deck. Operative Taylor would like to see you over in the armory. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Yes, Commander. Hey, Commander. It's, uh, pretty crazy the people you can run into out here, huh? I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Caden. Uh, Staff Commander Alenko, wasn't it? Another reminder of how I lost more than time. I don't need this garbage. Right. Understood, Commander. I assume everything's going well up here? This thing wants to fire me over a joke! Okay, I said I'd flash the AI core, but I was kidding. And we'd only lose a few systems. Nosy ones. To clarify, human resources adjustments are not actually under my authority. Then why? Why are you always picking on me? My replies were intended to provoke, though not to cause distress. Your reactions are atypical of most humans. You are interesting. Edie, were you intentionally egging him on? What part of your programming covers that? Nothing in the restrictions imposed upon me forbids active observation techniques. Mr. Moreau's performance actually improved under duress. I never figured the coming overlords would be so annoying. I'm just... I'm done. That's it for now. See you, Commander.
Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. If it affects my crew, it's my business. Sir, I don't want to distract from our mission, especially if it turns out to be nothing. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. It's only a waste of time if you jerk me around. What is it? My father was first officer on a ship that went missing ten years ago. I had not talked to him for three years prior. His ship, the Hugo Gernsback, sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and a request for rescue. Just like that, out of the black. I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. You'd like us to go take a look at the wreck, see if it's legit. If the coordinates aren't too far out of our way, I could at least verify the wreck. Who knows, maybe there is actually someone out there. I want to also mention that I don't make a habit of looking for random SOS signals. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. What's going on? You remember what I told you about Father? Building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So why are you sharing the family history with me? My father's agents have been searching for my sister for years. I believe they've tracked her to Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical, but she deserves a normal life, and she's going to get it no matter what. Did your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus, and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nos Astra docking bay. Weren't you originally stationed on Horizon? How can I help you, Commander? I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Commander. I very much enjoyed sharing that ice brandy with you, but I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. Brandy goes straight to my head. It's nice to see you let your hair down. Well, promise me we'll share a bottle every year. The next one is on me. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? 
A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Let me know when you've got the materials for me to upgrade our Talk guns. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. If we have time, I'd like to go to Ilium and relocate my sister's family. Can you tell me more about relocating your sister? My father is after my sister. I've kept her hidden for years, but his agents have tracked her to Ilium. I need to help her. You remember what I told you about father? Building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. She's living a normal life on Ilium. So Same. why are you sharing the family history? My father's a- I've tried to keep her hidden without him. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you need my me to do? My contact's name is Lante. Shepard? Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships, anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this, picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. What other human info's floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarian, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> ah, never mind. What did Okir want you to feel about this stuff? Hate. But the pictures, the aliens in them, they don't do anything. I see blood, craters, but so what? My guts were grown from a thousand more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. You're the perfect Krogan. Can you live up to that, or will this crap drag you down? I was built to be the strongest, but maybe weak moments inspire. That seems strange. I need to think, but I am still strong. Say the word and your enemies die. That's enough for you. This mission takes me back. Tough fight on Horizon. I fought slavers and kidnapping rings, but nothing like that. Some slavers took a little girl on a colony in the Skepsis system. Girl woke up, fought her way out, got picked up by my band well on her way to Omega. Eight years old. She'd have had no chance on Horizon. Hell of a mission down there on Zoria. I appreciate what you did down there. Might not seem like it, but you did the right thing. Killing Vito solves a lot of problems, and not just my own. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard.